the supreme secret of yoga, Sarva Guyata Mampuya, Shrinume Paramangbachaha, Ishtosi Medritamiti, Tatovik Shami Etam, 1864. You are so much loved by me. This is the greatest secret of all secrets. Sarva Guyatama. So this is the highest, right? Once we have really embraced that, then number eight comes along. And we become ambassadors of that supreme secret. In fact, Krishna says, one who explains the supreme secret to others is the dearest devotee to me, is most loved by me. He says that. You know this, these verses. Mm. That's in fact, is the most loved. The Gita. Yeah. Hmm. So true. Yes, true. So these are these um, uh, principles. So let, let's uh, also, in the interest of time, let's move to the number eight, where I say yes. Once this deeper, deepest inner connection is made, sorry, I just we then become calling us yeah? the, divinity is calling us on the sixth and the seventh was the okay. So divinity in the sixth is calling us. The seventh, we are finally embraced. Uh, this this divine yearning, we've understood this divine yearning, this divine calling. We hear that um, uh, that uh, we've realized that the greatest secret of all is that a divinity loves us and yearns for us so much, and we're connecting with that. So once we've realized that, then we this deepest inner t- connection is has been made. We then become capable of acting out of love and thus cultivating a genuine sensitivity toward all beings and toward the earth. So we become ambassadors. We return, in effect, to deliver this message of, of Ishtosimedritamiti, this supreme secret of yoga, this um, uh, uh, greatest secret of all. You know, Guyam Param Yogam, the greatest secret of yoga. Uh, you know, Sarva Guyatama Bhuya, the greatest secret of all. The Ekagra, the single highest point. These, when we've grasped these, we return to this world and we become ambassadors of the divine heart.